Hi there live folks, welcome to Crafts Corner. It's so awesome to have you here this morning and I can't wait to start doing today's craft. For our craft today, we will need two empty pages, a pencil, an eraser, coloring pencils, glue and scissors. Please remember when using scissors always ask for grown-ups help. You have 30 seconds to get everything go! Hi guys, welcome to Live Bugs Online. My name is Teacher Tyler. If we have any new friends here today, we would like to give them a huge Live Bug welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining the family. We have a whole lot of awesome, fun stuff planned for you guys. And our Bible memory verse goes as follows. We're reading from Ephesians 6 verse 13. Put on all God's armor. Evil days will come but you will be able to stand up to anything and after you have done everything you can you will still be standing now what that means is God wants us to fight as great brave soldiers he made us this powerful armor that will cover us from our head all the way down to our tiny 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 toes and it will protect us from whatever dangers we may face Good morning, light bulbs. I am so excited that you are here with me for our very first Bible story at Light Bulbs Online. How exciting is that, guys? We finally made it online. So, thank you for joining us, and I'm very excited to share our new series with you guys. Just like Teacher Tyler said, we've got a new Bible verse and a new series and a whole lot of new experiences exciting things to share with you. So, does anybody know what the series is called yet? Have you gotten a clue by what we've told you? It's about the armor of God. Yes, so our new series is called Put on the Armor of God. Now, I don't know if you guys know everything about the armor of God, but we're definitely going to learn a lot about it together over the next few weeks. But if you think of armor what do you think of um do you think of maybe shiny metal yes strong helmet and covers your arms and your legs and your feet and it's metal and it's strong is that what you guys think of i think i've missed something uh you need a sword thank you for helping me guys a sword and a shield to protect you from the other guys that you're fighting that's right that's what the armor is all about but you know what the armor of god is a little bit different and we're going to be reading from the book of ephesians and in ephesians chapter 6 the guy who wrote ephesians is called paul and he tells us about a very special kind of armor it's not an armor for warriors or soldiers or those kind of guys. This armor is for the children of God. That's us. <gasps> That's me and you. We're children of God. So this armor is just specially made for us. And I'm going to read a little bit about it to us all. So if you guys want to grab your Bibles as well, you can. And we're in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 and it says there finally let the Lord make you strong depend on his mighty power put on all of God's armor then you can remain strong against the enemy's plans our fight is not against human beings it is against the rulers 
the authorities and the powers of this dark world. So, put on all of God's armor. Evil days will come, but you will be able to stand. How cool is that? So, remain strong in the faith. Put on the belt of truth around your waist. Put on the armor of godliness on your chest. Put on your feet what will prepare you for the gospel of peace. Also, pick up the shield of faith. With it, you can put out all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Whoa, this is so exciting. Did you hear all about that armor? Now, we're going to go through every single part of the armor with you guys every week. And as you can see, today we're starting with the belt of truth. And now, if I think of armor, I don't really think about a belt. Do you guys? It seems a strange thing to put on for armor. But the Bible tells us that the belt of truth is the first thing we have to put on. So it must be really, really important. So let's have a look and find out why the belt of truth is so important. Oh my goodness, did you guys see that? That was so embarrassing. Can you imagine that happening to you? Now that is what makes a belt very important. It can save us from embarrassing moments. It can save us from doing silly things. And that's why the belt of truth is also so important. God's word and knowing the truth about God's word can save us from doing some silly things in our lives. And it can help us to be really awesome children of God and show other people how to be children of God too. So you see, the belt of truth keeps everything together, everything in place, and helps us to live a life like a child of God should live. So this week, I want you guys to remember, every morning when you wake up, I want you to do stand up now with me. Stand up, stand up. Are you standing? All right, everybody up. Now, I want you to put your belt on, Take, pick up your belt, put it on. You got it on you? And you're going to say, I will put on my belt of truth every day. All right, guys? And then next week, we'll see what the next piece of armor is that we're going to put on with our belt. I'm so excited. I can't wait. But before we go to the next exciting part of today's lesson, I'd really like to pray for you guys. So can I ask you all to just put your hands together? so that we don't fidget with anything. Close your eyes and concentrate on God and think about how much He loves you. And I'm just gonna pray. Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you that we could learn about the truth of your word and that you have given us very special armor to put on to help us to live like children of God. So I pray, Lord, that you would be with us all. Help us to always walk in truth and may we be ambassadors of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. That's it, guys. Oh, well, I'm finished for today, but teacher Tammy has got some very exciting things for you to do in our crafty creative time. See you guys later. Hi there, light bulbs. Today's craft is the belt of truth. How awesome is that? And the best part is we get to make you as well. At the top of your page, write down your name. Perfect. And now the fun starts. 
we are first going to draw ourselves because over the next few weeks we're going to add the armor of God onto you so this week we're going to put the belt of truth on you but in order to do that we need you to first draw yourself so please take your pencil and you can put your eraser right next to you just in case we make a mistake so I'm gonna start by drawing my face if you want to draw yourself in a different way of course you can this is just to show you what I'm doing so we've got the face and now the neck and then the shoulders again but before you draw your arm Please, please have your arms stretch out a little bit because in a few weeks we're going to have to pay something on that needs your hand. So try and push your arm out a little bit. Here we go. And then down. You can also put the other one out if you want. It's all up to you. Okay, so now we've got our arms. Ooh, that means it's question time. So the first question is, the armor of God includes the belt of? That's correct, truth. Our next question is, truth can be found in the word of? That's correct. It can be found in the word of God. How awesome is that? Let's head back to our craft. And we're back. So now we're going to do our body, the rest of our body. And we're gonna go down, cause our feet, ooh, that's very wide. See why we need an eraser. Just go straight down, we're making our jeans at the bottom. Here we go, and so we made that a bit too long. Here we go. Now we close off our jeans and our top. We can make a nice opening there and on the sides. Here we go. So far you're doing good guys. Okay. We are going to do the, the shoes. But let's put on our shoes. Let's close it off there. And our laces. Here we go. Now, let's continue with our face. Let's do a nice smile there. And then maybe by the nose. Ah, oh, there we go. And then we make our eyes. So it's like an oval, maybe even a circle if you'd like. And then just color it in. And then your eyebrows. So whichever hairstyle you'd like to draw, please go ahead. I'm gonna make ponytails for myself. And my pom pom. Okay, now I've got ponytails. We need to do our hands. Ooh, it's question time. Question one. Jesus says, if you know the truth, it will set you. That's correct. It will set you free. And do you know the truth will help you avoid what? That's awesome. Truth will help you avoid sin. You guys are so good at the questions. So we're going to do our thumb and then all of our other fingers. And there's one hand done and then let's do the other hand. There we go. So we're almost, almost done with our cells. <laughs> Now, I'd like you to draw something on the front of your t-shirt, anything that you would like. I want to make a flower because I love flowers, so whatever you like, you can even draw cake on there, chocolate, maybe if you like riding your bicycle, if you're good at drawing bicycles, whatever you want to put on your t-shirt, you put on your t-shirt. And guess what guys we're done with ourselves our drawing of ourselves now we're gonna move on to the belt of truth 
So if you remember, the drawing of ourself is quite small, so maybe we should make the belt to its size, okay? So we're gonna make a belt that looks obviously like a rectangle. There we go. Everybody see that? Then we're gonna draw a square in the middle for its buckle, the belt buckle. That thing in the middle of a belt is a buckle. And then we're going to draw the letter T for truth because we are making a belt of truth. So we put a T there. Can everybody see that? Perfect. Now we're gonna make arrows at the bottom like that. So let's make some more all across the belt until we reach the very end. Perfect. And now we can do it on the other side as well. Here we go, almost done. And we made it our belt of truth is done and dusted now all that's left is for us to oh our last last question the belt of truth can help us be a better what for jesus yes a better witness for jesus how awesome is that and we're back so what we need to do is color in our belt of truth. So I will be using these three colors, but you can use whichever color you would like. And now for the actual belt, now all that's left is to cut it. Please remember to ask for grown-ups help and our belt of truth has been cut out you can go over your drawing take your glue put it on top of your drawing you're going to add a lot of things to your drawing so please do not lose your drawing if you think you're going to lose it give it to mommy and daddy so that they can keep it safe so that you have it for next week at the beginning of our lesson teacher tyler taught us a memory verse and i want to see if our light bulbs can remember it. Together with me light bulbs, Ephesians 6 verse 13. Put on the armor of God, evil days will come, but you will be able to stand up to anything. And even after you have done everything you can, you will still remain standing. How awesome is that light bulbs? I'm so proud of you. Well, that's it from me. I will see you next week Sunday. Bye-bye, guys.